This is Dead Man Outdoors. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> He's right. Oh my. Good shot. Chase him all the way down there and shoot him again. After all that. Just bedded down over the hill. Man, I must have walked. I couldn't even find any blood. And he took off running. And I missed him running free-handed. And then I took off after him. And he got to one of them little draws down there and stopped and bedded up. I guess he's gonna let me run right into him. Nice six point. Yep. There's Crutch's coyote. Ugh. Well, he ain't all blowed to heck, is no, he? No, I kind of trying there and it's so big. All right, Dad's first calling coyote of the year. Yeah, I kind of opened him up underneath. I must have. I don't know. Looks like he. Yeah, he's cut pretty bad. Maybe. It looked like you cut him the top of the hip, and I don't know where you hit him the first time. He must be a tough sucker. He's a big old coyote. Oh, yeah, he's. That's a big coyote. <laughs> Goddamn, he's running again. Yeah. Alright, well, we're gonna hurry and get to the next stand, but real quick, we had the call sitting right out there. Dad's right there. And he'd come down that fence line, run up, and Dad hit him there, and he took off. He laid there for about a minute or so and took off up that hill, and Dad hit him again. Right there, and he ran over, and I had to go go after him, and I jumped him, and I actually had to shoot, and I missed him running, and then I had to chase him down a foot, and shot him, but we're going to get wrapped up. He's big, real big, actually, so, but we're going to go ahead and get to the next stand, so we'll see what happens. We are going to slip on by myself this morning. 
I'm going to slip down right here behind the house. I had plans to go originally somewhere else this morning, but uh, the wind's blowing too hard up there, so we're going to try that in the morning. But Dad and them heard some coyotes trying to lure the dogs out here in the pasture yesterday morning. So uh, we're going to slip right here behind the house, see what we can get done. So, see you in a minute. bear. He's right there on the top of the hill, guys. He's right there. Both of them. Bear's gonna lure another one in. Here they come. Bear's gonna get me another. Double. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. That's a. Uh, I got one. Uh, kind of getting up there. I better get another one in here real quick. Uh, let me get this one put down real quick. There he's down. All right, didn't know if I was gonna get him killed before he got over that hill, but he's he's dying. He ain't taking three of them. Um, well, not very often you shoot, you get a double 300 yards from your skin and pole. Um, you know, I figured, I, I know on trail camera, we're right, I mean, the house is, the house is four or 500 yards from me, maybe closer. Come here, what are you doing? Show everybody. Did you get them? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyways, um, you know, I was supposed to go to somewhere else this morning, and that guy told me last night, he said, because we got a big wind coming in, and that guy said, uh, it's possible that it, you might wake up down there and it might be really calm. He said, it might be already blowing up here. And I got a text from him, he said, it's blowing too hard this morning. So, uh, so I said, well, all right. And yesterday morning, 
dad and mom had heard the this pack i fit well he said he heard one trying to pull the dogs down to the creek lure them in and uh so i figured it must have been a pack and uh, anyways we come out here walked right out from the house and it was before shooting light even got it here set the lucky duck up um i want to talk about it later on too but I set the lucky duck up and uh set it up and we actually had to wait while well, I'm by myself I had to wait like probably five minutes or so um for legal light and everything and I went into some female house a couple times waited a bit went on to shelter belt on the lucky duck revolt and I was watching I was watching down here you know kind of to the creek and stuff and I luckily you know I don't Ne hardly, never do I call it a dog, except when I was little and I'd come out here to the pasture with, and Bear was the one who'd follow me. And uh, he was laying there and I watched and his, he was looking this way, kind of to my right here, and they was trying to get to the downwind. I don't, I don't think they were, I think there's pups honestly, but I think they just happened to be right there. And um, I looked to the downwind and I seen one, and then there was two, and then a third one come. And they run up here, and the first one was here about 75 yards, but if I moved my gun over, I was going to get busted. So I just sat still, well, Bear seen him, and he tore off after him, and he ran right up here to him. And I, it, it was pretty dark, but I got, I filmed it when he, he was running after him. And uh, he ran up there, and they just kind of cir circled him, and I was like, bring it on. And I shot, I dumped the first one right there at about 50 yards. He spun or no, it downed him. Those other two took off, and I thought about taking a running shot, but I didn't, cause, you know, because kind of the way they were, I didn't know what was over that hill and stuff. So I just sat back and waited, and they run over the hill, and I went into uh, some pup distress, a kind of sound on that, on the lucky duck there, and they popped back up over that, and uh, bear stayed out there, and sure enough, they come right back over, and I got that one uh, down right there. Crap, I forgot my drag. Well, I mean, like I said, the skin. I'll show you guys in a minute where we are. It's ridiculous how close I am to the house. And, uh, anyways, I took a shot at the third one, kind of running out there, but he went over. But, you know, a pack of three can do damage to an old dog, you know, right here at the house. So, one ain't going to do much, though. A sweet double start off the morning. It's been. You know, it's been hard. We're at uh, not quite the middle of November yet. I wanted to get an early start. And we've we've got a couple killed here and there, call them, but the wind usually screws us up and all kinds of stuff. We just ain't been able to get some good calling in. And uh, you see the devil right behind the house with your old trusty dog. Come here. Come here. Come on. Look. Look. Yeah, look at you, you big killer. Yes. This is Bear, for all you have never seen him. And he's a kill you bull crap. He's gonna eat you, what they're gonna do. They just, yes, yeah, you gonna look away. Did they about get you? Huh? Nope, don't wanna talk about that. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go check these coyotes up. All right, walking up on the, I don't know how many doubles this is in my life, maybe seventh or something I have to figure it out but I think it's around seven got the first one big dogs I think they're pups but they're big first one right there uh, the first one I dumped second one is right right there so kill them looking at that sinking hawk screaming over you in the dark that's freaky Oh yeah, bear. Big old healthy pups. Or, no, I don't know if they're pups, bear. Bear, I don't know if they're pups. They had to eat you. Yeah. What do you think, Mr. Tuffy? Look at that killer. Just got killer road all over you, don't you? Just call you Black Death, huh? Uh-huh. Anyways. Nice. Yeah, that's not a... I don't know. That don't look really like a pup. Nice uh, male. All right, we're gonna head over. This one might be kind of blew up a little bit. He was taking them pretty good. 
but I wanted to get him put down before he got over this hill. A lot of times with a coyote, if you hit them and they get up, don't treat them like an elk or a deer. Don't give them time to go get on them because they're just going to keep going. But uh, real pretty backs on them. You know, they're not the big, big money gray coyotes, but you know, and right here along these creeks and stuff, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get these red coyotes that, uh, I don't know, I find them really pretty. But uh, fur buyers don't give you as much for them. Actually, not blew up. Oh, yep. Blew up a little bit from that. Uh, from that last shot, I guess it would be. Or something. I don't know. But, anyways, I keep her turned over. There she is. And you know, they come up come up here and I was sitting right there at that soap we lurk there's the house right there skidding poles right there so you know tell you what though, I'm gonna get some pictures with this coming up over the over there get some pictures and kind of wrap up this stand might have to go out and make another before the wind hits okay well um went out and got them and uh you know them drug up there you seen? Me and Bear try to get some pictures together. You are, you're just, you're top dog today. Yep. Yes. Yes, you know what you just look, I, like I said, Mr. Black Death, what we'll call you, because you just look so mean, huh? Uh-huh. Anyways, you know, to kind of go through the stand, um, <laughs> Go way out in the remote nowhere, where I mean, no human civilization is whatsoever. Right there. Yeah. But you know, we had the call set um, right, right there at that point. You cover this whole creek, and our wind was good, kind of out of the west. It's kind of switching out of the north, but wind was good. If anything come from this way, you know, we, I kind of had that covered. Which it's kind of hard when you're calling by yourself. But Jets and Amarillo and Coops and Nebraska deer hunting, so. I had to come out here by myself, but, um, you know, so I was watching that, and Bear was sitting right here, and I started watching his eyes, you know, because they're going to detect stuff a lot better than you guys, any of us are. So I look, and, and this one was running right here. There they are laying right there. They was running right here, and I looked, and another one was right there, and then another one come over the hill, and, uh, and bear, he you'll watch on the film, it's kind of a little before before uh, camera light good, but you can watch him tear off after him. And uh, I don't even know if that's 50 yards. I shot the first one at him. And they ran up, and he, he just kind of looked at him like, uh, yeah. So uh, so <laughs> I had to get him. But that what he did was allowed me to move my gun, because the way they come in, I couldn't get my gun moved, you know, sneaky enough without him seeing me. And... Uh, Bear took all their attention, and he ran out there, and uh, they kind of got surrounding him right here, and I dumped the first one right there, and the other two tore off over there, and uh, you know, patience. A lot of guys would have went to Jet Harmon. A lot of guys would have went to just blasting with their AR-15 or something. If You know, especially with these, I can't decide by their teeth if they're pups or not, but anyways, you know, early in the season, if you'll go to some pup distress and stuff, and well, especially with the dog, the dog really helped. But um, if you're going to some pup distress, I went, I went to one of my presets right away. Didn't get no hurry, and they topped the ridge, and I filmed them for a little bit. Come right back down. Bear walked out and started looking at them, and uh, and he got them. So that one run up, I shot him. Had to put a couple extra in him, you know, just to make sure he didn't get away from me. But uh, but yeah, so that's going to wrap up this stand. I don't know whether to start skinning or go try to make another before the wind hits. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If this is the last video of the day, uh, be sure to check in. Um, keep subscribing. Thanks for all the viewers who are subscribing and everything. And uh, like I said, a week ago today I shot the biggest elk of my life. And a week ago from that day I shot a big whitetail. So... So we'll just keep going on shooting stuff. A lot of coyote action coming up, hopefully. That is the plan to keep coyote. You guys seem to like the coyote hunt we threw up there 
the other day. And you know, we do kill more than just one a day, most of the time. What you guys have been seeing is the wind and stuff has been just screwing us over and with big game hunting in and out and in and out, um, you know, we go trying to make two stands and the wind hits on the third and it's just ripping. So we got a lot of coyote content hopefully coming up, not a lot of new spots. Um, and so I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.